Hi, welcome to AntLab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad-free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through Sorcerer City. So this is a game designed by Scott Caputo, published by Druid City Games. And it is a hand management tile placement game where your hand is actually your deck of tiles. Right. So um, it plays one to six players in about 45 to 60 minutes. And, um, and we'll just be playing with the two of us, as always. All right. So, join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. Alright, welcome back to the Sorcerer City. Welcome to our city of sorcery. So, what is Sorcerer City? Sorcerer City is, as Francis said, a tile placement game. So, yes. it's kind of drafting and placement. So, like a like a tile deck builder. It is. That's what I said. It's like kind of a hand management game. Hand management, but yeah, you're or deck managing management. really your deck of tiles. Tiles, yeah. So, That'll make more yeah. sense as we get into it. So, what are we doing in Sorcerer City? We are uh, wizards competing to be the best wizard by building this sorcerer city that that basically gets built and then goes away every year so every <laughs> year you come back year. and we rebuild the city and it gets bigger and better and, and by the like end i guess right <laughs> we get back every year every year we try to get a little bit bigger <laughs> and better but we take thing. it down so that's what we're doing and the wizard with the most victory points at the end of five years is the winner yes so we'll explain how this all works uh some of the interesting little tools you can download for your yeah. mobile device that helps you along with this if and then like. we'll jump right in so this is a fast moving game uh, but it does take up a good chunk of the table uh, as far as sort of the uh the drafting section goes but uh, we'll go from top to bottom and talk about what we have here so uh, at the top you have the market which uh consists of four vendors and these rainbow tiles and we'll be able to buy tiles from these every year uh, to add to our starter deck of tiles, as right. we talked about earlier, right? Each of us has a deck of these three cards, which show one of each type of resource, three of the four resource symbols mm -hmm. uh, available to us. Um, and we'll talk about in a sec that in a second, and we're gonna have to play those to determine how we convert uh, this blue sort of, kind of wild, resource, wild, yeah. wild magic resource. Um, so we're gonna be drafting tiles from the market, uh, and we're gonna be going for certain influence point rewards depending on which year we're playing. So we're obviously gonna start out in year one, uh, and year one uh, has this influence tile. Depending on where your level of prestige is on the prestige track, will determine whether you get the best reward or some of the worst rewards. Because right. <laughs> they, they do, they do uh, trickle down pretty quickly. Right. In a two player game, mind you, we will be playing with this uh, Sorcerer City deck of uh, five years that will basically give us a AI sort of yes. um, random. Extra wet crap wizard. Yes, he's going to just, they're basically up. just going to throw out one of these three numbers for this, for year one, for example, a four, seven, or a ten, and that'll give us an, uh, an influence number to break ties or create like a third player to right. reward influence. Otherwise, it's just going to be first and second player, and that's never yeah. balanced, as you noticed. Um, so uh, at the bottom here, we have our monsters. So monsters are going to be coming into your, your deck of tiles, and this is mandatory. At the end of each year, we will be giving one random tile each from the monster deck that will go into your deck of tiles and come out as you build your city, and each monster has varying effects. Right. This is gonna happen after the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, right. uh, with the game again ending in the fifth year. The fifth year, there is no influence reward, only the, influ the uh, prestige points at the end. Correct. So that's really it. Um, what I was referring to before was this Sorcerer City app <laughs> on our iPhones yes. that is basically a timer. And, and depending on the difficulty you play the game at determines how long the timer is. We and play. It has music. It does have, it has very like <laughs> dramatic. dramatic music that just adds an additional layer of stress yes. to this play. So we play without the, the music. Right. Because it, it kind of gets you into your head and you really just want to yeah. pay attention to the tiles. It's stressful enough just taking right. the tiles out. Uh, so each round will consist of just two minutes. So this is a speed tile placement game. I will mention if you do not have iPhone access or, de yeah. or mobile device access or you don't want to have mobile device access, it does come with the old fashioned sand timer. Sand timer. Yes, the, the wizard's hour guy, we like to oh, call yes, it. Yes. So you can um, use that. You can use that. But we always find that when we use that, like, nobody's paying attention to it so. yeah and it runs out of sand and <laughs> just you just like, everyone, and somebody will notice and they'll be like oh by the way when we, did that run out? Yeah, the, yeah the time ran out like so, okay so because it does catch on pretty quick when you're actually playing your tiles down like time gets away from you and right. you will just 
uh, be like out of your mind. So yes. uh, just to go over it really yeah, quickly so you understand. Yeah, you want to show. Yeah, I was going to say, since we're going to be timed, we're not going to have time to really talk about this as yeah. we're playing. So what we have here in our starter deck um, are all of these different kinds of tiles, and you'll see like lots of different colors on them. Those colors represent resources, and then the shields that are on some of these tiles are going to represent uh, goals that we have as we're building, and those are going to be tile placement type of goals. So we have, for example, this line of three, and what we're yeah. looking to do here is to connect like three yellow tiles in a line, a straight line. So it could be like a line like that or a line like this, but it has to be at least three tiles with that color connected on each adjacent tile. And adjacency is going to be orthogonal in this case. Um, we also have this shape that looks like an L kind of. And what we're going to be doing there is just attaching orthogonally as many tiles we possibly can um, in a row, just like to the shape. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're going to score. It has to be at least three tiles and contain it doesn't have to be that specific shape it could be any right. shape it just has to be three tiles consecutively right. this one has to be in a in row one. right yeah. so for example you and you'll score one point for each tile of that color that continues the path right. so in this horizontal one you've got and it could be vertical or horizontal the right. the, the the way you orientate the tile is up to you um, but once you place it it's place so this would be worth one two three four points this one right. here will actually be worth one two three four five points perfect yep. exactly the last type of shield that we have is this shield that denotes points that you're going to get for other shields that are surrounding that shield. Mm -hmm. So this one is the only one that you do get points for, um, they, they say like neighboring, so that would yes. be your diagonal adjacency as well. So for example, if I had these placed here for some reason, which would be a really bad placement, I think for lots of other reasons, yeah. but I would actually get points for these other shields. Now the catch here is that you have to have at least two other shields neighboring the shield that you're scoring. So at least in three in total. To um, yep. Yeah. So and you will count the shield as its, itself as well. Correct. So you'll see those shields on some of these tiles that we'll be purchasing from the market. Yep. Some of the tiles in the market just give us extra bonuses, which we can activate during certain rounds of the game or certain phases of the game. And those are denoted by either the build or the income phase, which will yep. And they give you all them. sorts of special actions and yes. bonuses and, and, and really tricky ways to score yeah. uh, throughout the game. And you'll be seeing us as we're drafting our tiles. This isn't like a spread them all out and just pick which ones you want mm -hmm. kind of thing. We're actually going to be drafting them as we would like a deck of cards, which is why when the monsters come into play, it's going to get really messy because yep. we're not going to know what we're drawing. Exactly. Now, there are four resources in the game. As you see, these four colors, the blue, the red, the orange, and or the yellow and the green. So the blue is our wild magic, as we said before. The red is the influence. And the influence really just determines which reward you're going to get. The, right. the best reward or the last reward yeah. at the end of the round. And that's just this reward, not right. counting how you score your tiles, but it's sort of an extra influence specific reward. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's all that the red uh, indicates. The yellow is essentially gold, it's your money. Mm -hmm. So how much money you have will determine what tiles you can buy or how much buying power. During the buying phase, you only can buy up to two tiles unless something allows you to buy additional tiles. And the green is the prestige, that's your victory points. Very so that's important. that's where you wanna yes. score high. But that's yeah. that's it, at the end of each year, once you spend and use up all of your, uh, in, your resources and you score your influence, uh, your prestige points, they go back to zero and you start over again. Right. So that's kind of like probably the longest part of the game is just explaining right. the rules right now because <laughs> everything else happens very yeah. quickly. And unlike a lot of other games we play, we don't really have time during this one to stop and explain yeah. all this to you as we go. So, so it's quite important that we get yeah. all this out up front. So very good. without further ado, let's get ready to start the game. Okay. All right, so we will shuffle these up. This is called prepare. So we're going to go through the phases now. So we are going to prepare by shuffling our deck. And now it's basically just our starter, city tiles. And we're going to be building the city. We're just going to be placing tiles. They have to be uh, orthogonally adjacent to yep. the tiles you place down. Once you place it, you choose the orientation, and it's, it's stuck, right? Yep. Certain tiles let you move tiles, but other than that, you're pretty much, it is where it is. Uh, and you don't know what order you're going to be pulling tiles because they're yeah. coming out of, your, out of your deck here. So... We're gonna enter the build phase. The build phase is quite simple. I'm just gonna start the I'm timer ready. and we are gonna build. So we're not gonna be really talking through it. It's just gonna happen. It's two minutes. You're gonna just have to pay attention. <laughs> just deal. All right, and just okay. deal. Okay, yeah. ready and go. Okay. Ah, I can't pick up my cards, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Where? <laughs> <laughs> uh, e, okay. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> Sorry, we just finished watching. His... Oh yeah, that's not the music from this game, is it? No, that is the music from his Dark Materials. His dark Materials. Yes. What a show. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put that there. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't distract me. Uh, Yikes. Oh, I literally blocked myself off there. That's unfortunate. Darn it. <sighs> that is this is like the easiest round, too. It really is oh, because we've, shake, we've got shake. nothing really crazy coming in. Oh, man. I need. All right, this is the thing you like. You'll find you'll run out of room in certain areas. You got to hold, shift the whole thing over. Yeah, this uh, is we, literally this is like the easiest. Yeah, this round. is the easiest round. Who? Yeah, this is unfortunate. Uh, I think I screwed up oh. already. All right. Uh, time. Oh wait, that's no. no. Stop it! Oh, sorry. It's not time. My time. Why wow, you really? That low. I did. Of course, you built right off the I'm screen. Like too. Way off People the can't screen. even watch what you're doing. Yeah, well. That's cool. Sorry. 25 seconds. Okay. I only have two tiles left, so. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Oh, perfect. All right, I'm done. Seriously, it's like the easiest round. Yeah, so right, go ahead yeah, and I'm push that up. up. Yeah. We're we'll moving you... the city. We're moving the whole city. All right, city. so I'll stop the timer. We're down to eight seconds, so we, we did pretty good. Yeah. All right, so we just completed the build phase. So you see our fledgling little cities here, mm -hmm. and now we are going to uh, score. So we've, we've stopped building. We've actually got through our entire yep. build deck, which is pretty cool. So we are going to now score. So if we if there were any monsters out, you would, you would resolve them now. If they had scoring uh, effects, none of the monsters in this game that we've randomly drawn do have scoring effects. Uh, there are different monsters for each game. Uh, we don't have any spells out. We have basically just the generic tile. So we're just going to go ahead and score up uh, based on the colors. So you want to go ahead okay. and score yours yeah, up? Yeah, I'll do my first. So, um, so I'll start with my purple. So I have a three and a line. So that's going to be one, two, three for three magic. Yep. And then I've got, I'll do these last. I have this red. That'll be one, two, three red. Which ones? Um, and then my gold. So I have a shield with the one, two, three. And then I have this one, which is worth one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all connected, so that's nine. Mm -hmm. um, and then green, I didn't get. Oh, I did. Okay, so then we have the shields. So for this shield, I count the shield plus any shields that are surrounding it. So this is one, two, three, four for green. Mm -hmm. And then my red is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, right, that's it. So similar here, three purple. I've got one, two, three, red. I kind of just go down the rows and, and add them up. Yeah. So green, I go one, two, three, green. Yellow, I've got one, two, three, four, five for that one. And then one, two, three for that one. And then this red one here is one, two, three, four, red. All right, that's it. Okay. So we've done our scoring. So now we choose a card. And this is what we just talked about earlier with these cards, right? So they're, they're representing the gold, the prestige, and the influence. And we're gonna convert all of your purple or your blue uh, wild magic into any of the other three resources right now. You convert all of it. And you, what we're doing is we're selecting in private which one we'd like to do. Uh, huh, yeah. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead nah. and I'll do that one. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, yep. so what do you got? So I chose influence, so I'm gonna okay. spend three. One, two, three. What'd you choose? I chose gold. Gold. So, you're so gonna I get, get three more gold. more gold. Three more gold. So now we're going to award influence. Yes. So my influence is ten. Yep. Mine is at eight. And we're gonna reveal the other source. So he's four. So he's third. So I'm first. You're second. He is third. So for first place, I gain six prestige. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I also gained for the first place prestige and the card reward. Right. So I'm going to get an additional purchase, so I get to make up to three purchases. The tiles will cost me $2 less than their marked price. That's great. So that's nice. Okay. So that's my reward. So what's Great. Uh, so uh, second place, I get to pick. Do I want to take the card or do I want to take the points? Mm. And I'm taking the points. All right. So six points for you. Third place in a two-player, in less than four players game gets just five coins or one additional buy, which is terrible. So <laughs> I won Prestige, I get to purchase first. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I get to normally purchase two, but I get to purchase three at a $2 discount per card. That's great. So I will take this one here for $2. One, two. And, oh, so you go ahead. That's it? You're done? Oh, no, I guess I should buy, I'll get to, I should buy three, right? So I've got six more bucks. Um, I'll gain this guy for two dollars. One, two, and I have four left. So I can buy like three dollars for this guy. And that's the rest of my money, basically. Okay. Um, and we refresh. Yep. All right. This is a big purchase. I'm doing it. So I'm going to do, I have $12 to spend, but I'm actually only going to spend 10, mm -hmm. which is going to leave me with only one purchase, but it's going to be this one. Kill, mm, kill a, a monster. monster. That's a good one. So good. All right. So that is it for the purchasing of tiles. Yeah. Now we're going to collect our prestige. So wherever you are on the prestige track, I am on nine. I am on 10. All right. So you get a tenner. Oh, so you actually get the bonus. Oh, yeah. So I get nine. And because I have the lowest amount of prestige on this round. Not that low, though. Uh, well, it's lower. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so as I have the lowest of the two of us, I get a free tile from the vendor number according to the year. We were year yes. one, I get a vendor one tile. So this goes into my deck. Very okay. good. Uh, I guess it's sort of the catch-up mechanic. Yes. And um, so that goes down here. Now, this yes. round, we are integrating into our decks one random one random dragon. dragon so this is what the dragons do during the building phase if you draw a dragon right as soon as you, the dragon tile is placed in the district it permanently destroys one city tile adjacent to it so once the dragon has destroyed the tile your district may be disconnected the dragon can be used to kill other monsters which is pretty cool basically that's great you can place that dragon tile wherever you want in your district but whatever's adjacent to it yeah one city tile adjacent to it gets destroyed so i'll take a look at it. and the dragons are different just because there's some different colors different so colors. they are beneficial in a sense and of you scoring. still do score yeah the color of the tile of course but they can kind of mess you'll something. see later there's some pretty magic. nasty ones in here okay, what do we have this time the cube the gelatinous cube the pixie and the invisible stalker i, I think know. he's the worst one oh, wow. yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that one at year four <laughs> all right so that's literally that was your one like that's it's that simple so shuffle up your tiles. We're going to go ahead and prepare for year two okay. and get ready to roll. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I was born ready. Year two. Here we go. Two minutes and counting. All right. It's so my dragon. I draw this. I draw this. So my tile dragon came out right away. Every time. So I, guess I don't like this tile. It. I, I don't have anything to place next to so. <sighs> Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, oh, that's been a line? Darn it. What? I'm going to be building onto my... <laughs> I'm not a very good city planner over here. Uh, you know yeah, I, mean? I know. I'm struggling myself here. Uh, yeah, this is like yikes. not great. I don't, I don't like this at all. Yeah, yeah I don't like this. Uh, I don't like shoot, this. we have a minute. This is where it starts to get a little AP. <laughs> well, it can't, though. I, I know, because can't. you don't have... To, ah, here he is, the what? dragon. Oh. Well, he's not actually too bad. Mm. It's not really hurt me right now, so so I could I could like put him here and he cracks this one out of the game. Oh, that wasn't a good a good Which idea. Not, not a good idea. Thirty seconds. Just let me Darn know. it! I really screwed up. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm feeling this. the same. 
heat here. Um, I don't know why I feel like I need to do that. Why do you need to do I that? I don't. 17 seconds? Ah! Yeah, this is like... This isn't good. Bad. I'm making so many bad decisions. I feel like this is a game where people, <laughs> if you're out there and you're watching this, you're going to be like... Why don't no! you do that? Why you are fool? you doing that? You're a fool. Three seconds. I wouldn't do that uh, if I were playing that Oh, that's game. it. <laughs> Damn, I didn't get all my tiles out. I like how even if you don't have the music on, you still... Uh, I keep peeking at it and it's like taunting it's still me. Good. It does. The, the symbol does smash all down. Right. Dang it. Oh, uh, all right, you want to score yours up? Okay. Um, so I have my purple. One, two, three in a line. Let's get three. This shield does not score because I only have one other shield. That is score, correct. So that's unfortunate. My yellow, I get one, two, three. Plus this guy has a shape that says one, two, three, four, five. Um, this I didn't complete the red. And this does have shields next to it, so I'll get one, two, three. Three more red. red. You didn't want to kill the dragon when you brought out the kill the monster card? I guess not, right? I mean, it didn't matter. matter. No. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let me see. I don't have any blue this time. Ugh. My blue tile did not come out. Oh, wow. Which is unfortunate, but that's fine. So my red, I'll go one, two, three, four, and I'll go one, two, three, four. So that's eight. No, this is only a three. Oh, sorry, three. You're right. So that's seven. Uh, I'll score this red down here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This green is one, two, three. This green is one, two, three, four. Mm, that's good. Uh, let's see. This yellow is one, two, three. And this yellow is one, two, three, four, five. So that's eight more yellow. Or just eight yellow. That's all I have. That's good. Right. I did well. I did okay. Me. <laughs> yep. So I don't have to determine it. You can just pick whatever you want. You don't even have to put a card because I. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's true. I'm not. I'm not yeah, selecting, so you get full choice here. Um, I guess I'll just take points. Why well, you didn't get any greens at all? I didn't get any green. <laughs> I <laughs> guess that's probably wise. Yeah. Will the wise? Will the wise? Okay, so we've done our scoring. We've uh, now we award influence. I have ten influence. I have three. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> your two gets nine prestige. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I get to gain a towel from the rainbow vendor for free. Nice. So I get the rainbow the towel. The rainbow <laughs> tile is for wild. <laughs> it's wild. Yes. It's, it's <laughs> I don't even know what language that is. <laughs> you know how I've been lately. Yes. Um, no, the rainbow tile is wild in all circumstances. So if you have it next to like a red and a yes. purple, you can use it for it both. It can be counted multiple That's times. What I was trying yes. to say. It can be any color okay. tile. Flip that guy. I know he's going to be second place, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Four, Eight. I three, so I get five coins, five coins or, or a buy. buy. Yeah, that's a good I'll call. I forgot to flip that. five coins. Okay, so we're good on that? Yep. All right, so on my purchase phase, I get to gain a tile costing up to $6 for free, mm. which is nice. So I will take this guy that's good. for free. And I will buy eight dollars worth of tiles. What's it? I have eight bucks. Oh, there's such good ones out there too. Mhm. Mm this one lets you move a shield, which mm -hmm. is like me. I really like moving tiles. I don't have time to think, and he wants me to move tiles. Now. Like, that's not even right. So I'll probably just, that stinks. I wish I had more money. Mm. I'll just buy this one okay. for eight. And I will I will spend 13, mm -hmm. which is all the money I have. Wow, you're going big. That's a good tile. I like this. And I have three influence. I have three prestige. So I get the free one, right? You do. So you get a vendor to top of the stack. Okay. That's your reward. All right. So did you pull your three coins? I did not. From the fountain? You mean the points? Yes. I get 16. 16? Yeah. I scored big that round. All right. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
We'll just wait till the gelatinous cube comes out. Yeah, that's true. So the gelatinous cube, when we re when we draw the gelatinous cube, remove one tile with a shield on it from your district and put it on the bottom of your city deck. Then place the gelatinous cube in your district. That's not bad. Once the gelatinous cube has removed the tile, your district may be disconnected. Disconnected. So when we draw it, we remove a the tile. Thing. A tile with a shield, so one of those scoring tiles. And then you place. Then you can place them. The place game. them anywhere at that point. So it's not too bad. So he just kills a shield. Tile. Yeah, when they say it's disconnected, that just means they may break up Your something, a combo you've already stuff. had. But yeah, which the, right the thing color, is, it makes sense because the question is like, well, you're not you're not allowed to place. You can only place orthogonally. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how would you ever have a district flipped like that? Yeah. Well, it's because monsters come. In monsters come in and they wreak havoc. All right, yeah. so I am ready. Ready. All set? Yes. Tell me when, and I shall start the time. Okay, when? Your time starts now. <laughs> like, where's the baking powder? <laughs> yes, I feel like I'm on that, <laughs> one of those baking shows. Wait, what does the dragon do? The dragon. He destroys, destroys a tile a he's tile. next okay, to. Okay, so he's... Yeah. Oh, the gelatinous cube. Oh, that's terrible. So <laughs> a shield tile has to go underneath. So I'll get rid of that one, bring him out. It's fine. I don't uh, want to do that. Oh. I I could do that. I will do that. Oh, this is terrible. Uh -huh. I don't know what I want to do. Tell me about it. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit weird. Ooh. Oh, yes. Like that I'm was poorly planned. It. Dragon is going to destroy something. Poorly planned. Poorly I will put planned. him here and have him destroy this. So we take that out. Come on, give me the goods. Ah, uh, the cube. Yeah. The good, gelatinous good luck cube. Actually, that's okay. That. I'm going to take this shield out and then I can place my jello cube. The jello cube. Anywhere I want. The jello cube. 30 seconds. Oh my god. Yes. My deck. And the thing is, like, once you get through your monsters, you're like, just place tiles. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. And it's killing me. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Oh, kill a monster. I don't really want to. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. Give me it. Yeah. Ah! No! I, like, I took one second to look at it. Damn it! And look, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I just put that. Alright, slide it up. You're off the screen again. Alright. Oh best. my god. I love it. It's just like gong. Like gong. Like, well, then, like, the finished. worst part is that I looked over at it to see where we were, and in that, mo that moment, I should have just yeah. put my thing there. Look, this can't, guy came off. It's like, hands off your pastries. Yeah, it's like, off your pastries. Oh. Like, okay. Ah, okay. Let's. Uh, you let's... were supposed to be a city. I know. Let's see what you did. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, so what. Uh, I've got a lot going on here. Okay, that's good. I guess I can score my first. Why not? Yeah, sure. So let's I'm start. Like at it, we'll so. score from top down. So okay. we'll start with this shield here, red shield. One, two, three, because it's everybody around him. So it's yeah. three red. All right. We'll mm -hmm. get on to the next one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do this green one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's yes. a pretty good one. This purple. One, two, three. I like barely made these. Yeah. Green. One, two, three. Yeah. That's good. One, two, three, right? So we wow, just did nice. all that. So yeah. we'll go down to the screen. One, two, three. That's oh, the wild. Yeah, that's true. That's good. One, two, three. Oh, and you made it your red, too. I did. You One, bugger. two, three. One, well, two, but it, three. Mm, yeah, I, could, I can still count it because it's any shape, right? Yeah. One, two, three. And uh, one, two, this three. one goes one, two, three. Same. One, two, three. That's what's confusing about these. It looks like you have to do that shape, but yeah, it, it, it just means any it shape. It means orthogonally. Yeah. yeah. The, it's, the only one you really get restricted by is this one. So this one is one, two, three, four. Your, your gelatinous cube is all 
yellow. I know, isn't that great? And this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. Right? Wow, yeah. That's thirteen dollars. Boom. Okay. That's it. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, what a city. Holy what moly. a sorcerer city. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll admit it. That was good. Mine wasn't. <laughs> this is so like a disaster. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't do well under pressure. All right. So this was one, two, three, four. I get to count both of those shields. I should actually see if I can incorporate a timer into every like euro we play, right? For your turns. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> All right. So then we score both these shields. One, two, three, four. Four, uh -huh. and then the yellow is going to be one, two, three, four. So the beauty of those split shield tiles is they count each other. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four here. So I actually did pretty good on influence that time, but you did. It's meaningless. You did a lot of influence that time. I have no problem. Uh, wow, yeah. yeah. So, was my last time? we oh, scored. Sorry. We're going to have to pick what we want to change our blues to. I don't have any blues, so you get to just I'll pick. I'll just do all influence. Three Why did I destroy... One, two, oh, three. Oh, because he destroyed a tile. Yes, he did. Oh, you know what I did? I did, should, did this wrong. I took this tile with a shield on it, Yeah. and I didn't put it on the bottom of my deck. But you didn't get through your deck, though. I know. So it wouldn't have mattered. You're okay. Had you gotten through your deck and didn't play it, then I'd be like, I would have felt bad. But... <laughs> Since you didn't, I, I won't feel bad. So I pushed up my influence to 15. Holy moly. Okay. So uh, we're going to reward influence now. So we're in year three. I get 12 yeah. prestige. One, two. That's 14, 24. And I get to kill two monsters in my district. I don't want to kill two monsters in my district. Really doesn't when you matter. kill the monster, does that mean they're gone forever? Here's the deal. Yeah, like no, I, no. I don't, I don't. It just I takes them out. No, it takes them out I of this. So. But it's kind of silly. Yeah. Because like, I because I've already scored. You know what right. I mean? So yeah. it's like kill two monsters in my district. What's that gonna know. do? Maybe if they had some negative but scoring these, impacts yeah, on these, me, but these, these don't. So. Okay. What are we doing now? So you get to choose. Uh, what, how many do you have? Sorry. I have twelve. I, this guy's got ten. All I have right. fifteen. So you you finished. So um, I will take the points because I'm so. Behind I should have checked points. that first because he could have had first over me. Yeah, you should have. You really did. Just but either way, I would have just not taken the card. Yeah. Because it's not really a, a right. beneficial card. So um, that's fine. I took the twelve points. Mm-hmm. So. So you did. Okay. Yeah. So we're done uh, collecting prestige. So what? So, uh, influence rather. So we're going to shop now. So yeah. I get to gain a tile worth six for free. All tiles are $2 cheaper. I like mm. that. That's a good one. Plus one buy. Yeah, plus I get to buy extra that next time. That's it, once it's in my city. But I do have $13 to spend, so. You have so much money. It's just, it's still not enough to buy the good tiles, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to, like, really just put all your money into this. Yeah, that kind of stinks. So I'll just buy... I'll spend two, 13, 12, 11, to get rid of... So one dollar gets rid of a tile. So I'm gonna get rid Why'd of you get tiles. rid of those tiles? I want to put new ones out. I wanted to buy them. I didn't like them. I wanted to buy I'll that I'll spend nine dollars to buy this one. You can buy one of these. There I you go. I want one of those. I can't afford those. <laughs> I needed the green tiles. Oh. Um, all right, I have eight. I'll just buy two. Oh. Stupid four. There you go. Um, all tiles, two cheaper. I'll just do these. Hmm. And then I have the lowest prestige. So you, oh, we so are in year three, three, so you get a good tile, actually. Nah. No, it's not good? It's not super uh, good. We are going to get a pixie now. So building phase. Did as you get your points? No, I get 24 points. Do you have a dollar? Yeah, I do. Or one point? There you go. 
Um, so pixie means as soon as you draw a pixie tile, place the pixie on top of a gold tile of your choice. If there is no such tile, then place the pixie tile anywhere you wish. So she goes on top of, of a gold tile, gold meaning tile. a shield tile, basically. Why does it say shield? shield I don't know why it doesn't say shield. It should. But that's essentially what it means. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So she's going to cover up one of your shields, one of your scoring tiles. Because I think, I think technically these are considered shield tiles and these are like gold tiles, right? Because that's shields, that count shields. Hmm. I think that's how they distinguish that's still them. Gold. It is, but I think they call it a shield tile because it counts shield, it, it scores shields, hmm. you know, for every shield. Yeah. Right. I don't know, it's kind of. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. All right, so we are on year four. And we are about to kick this off. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready? Yes. And go. Ready as I'm going to Your go. time starts now. Ah, what does the pixie do? Uh, oh, she... On top of a gold tile, yeah, she, she doesn't goes, have one. If you don't so have one, just place her place. anywhere you want. Nice. Ah, the dragon. What does he do? Oh, yeah, he, he destroys he whatever's next to it. Whatever's next to it, okay. Destroys, okay. that means it's out of the game. Yeah. So, he'll destroy the pixie, I guess. That's really kind of an earwig, isn't it? Earworm. Earworm. <laughs> Earwig. <laughs> I am bad at idioms. Yes. Yeah. Is that like Hedwig? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking. Uh. Oh, what is it I want? Yeah, this is a very weird one. Gosh, this is terrible. Pixie! She goes on top of a shield tile? No. Yes, yes, she does. She goes on top of a goal. What did you say no? <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Ah. Uh. All right, I'll put her there. God, I hate her. Mm. See, I don't want to put this here because... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to get that other one. I'm yeah. Like, oh, God, I don't know what I want to do. My whole city's getting messed up. It's such a good. disaster. It's good. Let's keep this rolling. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh no, I gelatinous never, cube. I never play this. The Remove right way. one tile with a shield on it from your district. Why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> why? Why do you do this to me? So why? <sighs> Get rid of that one. Whoops. Okay. Put it at the bottom of your city deck. All right. Curmudgeon. What? I said curmudgeon. I don't even know what that means. Uh, uh. What? Oh my god. This is so bad. Uh. I'm so bad at this game. Like, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> you see how the monsters totally... Well, they do because like you have to... You're like... Stop. Yeah. What is he gonna do? What is the least impactful, right? Like that's what you're Let's trying to get. Let's just score to. this disaster. Score this disaster. Do you want to score yeah, first? Yeah, sure. It's, it'll be quick. Okay. One, two, three. Boop. Um, and then I have these reds. Oh, I did have that there the whole time. I was looking for it. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. But there it was. Uh, okay. And then shields for red. One, two, three, four. And then I have this yellow shield. It'll be one, two, three, four. And another red. One, two, three, four. All right. No prestige again. Wow. Because, can you get any of that green tile? You took it. Oh, sorry. All right. So, three green. And one, two, three more green. One, two, three. This one I didn't score. I came out very last. So annoyed. Uh, mm -hmm. Red, we've got one, two, three, four. Four. Purple. All right, so it's going to be the whole one, did two, you put her, You put the three, pixie on top of a gold tile? Four. Oh. Sure did. Mm. I did not like that. One, two, three, four. It hurt. It hurt me real bad. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five red. One, two, three more. One, two, three. Yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six yellow. 
Well, actually, I didn't score that red proper. This Why? one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. Seven, yeah. I only scored one, two, three, four, five, so I get two more. Um, and this one I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wow. Yeah. So we're gonna have to convert our thing. Mm. Wow. I have a lot. Uh huh. So I have I quite a bit. Okay. Money. One. So I'm going to convert eight of these. So one, two, three, four, five, money. six, seven, eight. Yep. And the influence oh. to beat is four. Yes. All right. So what do you Finally, have? Finally, one influence. You have 16. I have 14. So you are the yes. year four yeah, winner of 18. 18 points. Good, because I have zero I will points. take those points as well. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. It's so cheap that you could take those points, eight, too. But I don't get the card reward. Gain two tiles from any vendor yeah you get to do that and then you get to gain one tile from the same vendor going clockwise all right so gain two tiles from any vendor which vendor would you like to take the tiles from hmm that's actually quite a good reward that's a good reward for you <laughs> plus you get the 18 points yeah and you get extra stuff from my card. The one time I win, you get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you know? Okay. So you get that last one. Don't I get to bring two more out? No. Really? <laughs> Don't I get to bring another one out if I, I Yeah, three? I would say draw one yeah? and pull one. Yeah. All right, draw another one. I took this one first. We'll put it back. Okay. Now you can choose. Oh, would you take that yep. one? <laughs> right, and then I'll take that one with the green on it. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, so stop it. prestige. How much Done. do you have? I have 15, 16, 17. I have 18. All right. So you get to choose. You actually get a, a vendor for another yet. one. We didn't shop yet. We didn't shop yet. Oh, all right. Sorry. Um, but I'll take this anyway. Okay. So I have 14 bucks. Hmm. I don't like these. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take this one for eight. I only have four. Nine, 10, 11, 12, seven. and I'll take this one for four. Okay. I'll take. Because this is it. This is for all the marbles. This is it. This is for all the prestige. Um. Oh, I didn't do this. Do oh, I get to do that? Good, gain a tile. Gain up to a six. Tile up to six for free. I'll take the move purple. And then I'll take for my buy for mm -hmm. my four dollars. I will take uh, uh I guess. That doesn't really matter. Nope. Alright, so now you collect your prestige points. Okay. I already gave you your super tile. 18. I get 24. Do you have one? I do. And I get 18. Yep. So and get we are getting an invisible stalker this time. This what? one's pretty interesting. So when you draw the invisible stalker tile, place it in your district first, right? Mm -hmm. Then place the next two tiles on your stack face down without looking at their fronts in your district. And then face before down. and then before you score, you flip them up. And then you can orient them. Without looking at them? Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna have two tiles in your district blind. There's Great. your visible stalker. So I think that one's pretty cool because he's. It's uh, pretty neat. It's it's, it's, neat. it's definitely it neat. Sucks. It sucks, but it's neat. All right, so there is no uh, influence reward for your five card wise, but yeah, we so do get is, the points. Yeah, if you're the influence. So you master. definitely want to finish at least first or second here. <laughs> At least first, because second player doesn't get that. They get the prestige points. or the card. No. Oh, that's right. In near five, round. right? They only get only one person gets the points. Yeah. So I need to go full on influence this round. <laughs> Shouldn't remind you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. All right okay. So. I'm ready. All right. Ready for the final round? Yes. Your time's. Oh, hold on. Let me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, okay. your time starts now. Oh no, Pixie! What the hell? So you draw a Pixie, place a tile on top of a gold tile. Otherwise, place it anywhere. Okay, that's good. That's good. Gelatinous cube. Gelatinous cube. Remove Gelatinous one cube. tile with the shield on it. Otherwise, I place it remove the with the shield on it. Okay, so that one goes away. All right. Boo. This is no boy now at all. Did you just call me Boo? Yeah, boo. <laughs> uh, I heard that. I said shoot. Oh, did you? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, someone you can check the playback on that. Um. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. This, like, connection to purple doesn't really matter it sometimes. doesn't really matter. Oh, oh no. yikes. Invisible stalker. Really? Alright, so I have to put two in here face down. That really sucks. Uh, invisible stalker? Yep. Okay. Okay. Face down? Two face down somewhere in your city. Dragon? Dragon? He destroys what's next to it. He destroys what's next to it. Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. We'll do this then. Destroy whatever that was. Oh, yeah. oh, I need to get through. I need to get through. Destroy that. These things. Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> why? Why? Why was I hovering right there? Why? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't get anything, anything done that I needed to get done. Ah. Darn it. Fucking dragon. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, look, I didn't even shuffle in these tiles. Oh, your new tiles? Maybe I didn't. Oh, I think you did. You were throwing them out because of the monsters. <sighs> Thanks, Street. You're all frazzled now. I would be so fired. Uh, yes. <laughs> like, the worst sort you're of a ever. terrible wizard. You're, you're just out of you're here. not a good w builder wizard. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. Look at all these tiles I had left. So I didn't even get all right, them. so let's. I'll just start counting. You start counting. We'll score them up simultaneously. Right. People, I think they've seen us how to how to score here. So. Yeah, but then how do we know you're not cheating? Yeah, they're watching. They'll watch. And oh, see, that's not even my connected one. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. I just completely ruined myself here. Oh, this gets flipped up, right? Oh, yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Freaking two. Oh, actually, that doesn't score anything. Because he's not next to as many things. And he doesn't score anything either. Wow, that was a bad turnout for and me. him is 8, 8, 16, 6, 31. 1, 2, 3. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. I went crazy on influence, not even not even intentionally. You didn't even get any. Influence? Oh, 34? 34. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Look at each one of these. I don't even want to talk about okay. it. <laughs> I got four each. Uh, do, would you like to convert your, your blues now? We have to convert them. Um, All right. Yeah, I will. I will convert that. You get nothing for second place influence this time. You do not. So I might as well just do that. Yep, that's what I did as well. So converting it to prestige. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we are pretty much going for the influence bonus now for the year five is 15 influence. Do you have 15? 
Oh, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's. I just told uh, you I got four of everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I get twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five is eighteen. Twenty-eight. Thirty-eight. There. Did um, you get thirty-eight points? Yeah. That's so cheap, in my opinion. In your opinion. Thirty. I am H O. Oh wait a minute. I I'm so silly. I didn't even flip these up and count them proper. I didn't That's score any additional points though, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, mine came out all weird. Like mine was like red one, like all red. Yeah, out. that so they didn't actually score me any yeah. points. So it didn't matter. So let's just count up our prestige, and that's pretty much how the game ends. Whoever's got the most prestige. Like it's some kind of big mystery. It's really no mystery. <laughs> I have fifty-one points. 111. That's usually how it goes. I have yet to win this game. All right. Let's go talk about All it. All right. <laughs> All right. There you have it. You have proven again. You are the most... I am the master <laughs> mage <laughs> architect I'll remember that if you ever city. need a sorcerer city. Yeah. In five years, I can make amazing things. Terrible. Amazing, but great. terrible things happen. See, my city would just go up and it would work. It would be functional? Like in real life. It would just be would very just generic. Work. Straight streets... Like very few stores, <laughs> like everything would be in its place. I would spend five years planning it and then make yeah. the really good thing. See? Instead and of like building it up and taking it Mine would just be like a that. chaotic mess of <laughs> things to do, but it would be so exciting. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start with, as always, we talk about kind of replayability, and we've played this um, a bunch of times. Yeah, 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 Like yeah. I said, I fail every time. Yes. But it is always different because yeah. you have a lot of variability in, I mean, obviously the way that the tiles come out. Of course. Um, but also in your monsters. So these are mm. monsters that we haven't played with. No, before, I I mean, we've played a mix of them, but this, this yeah. specific combination we haven't. I think there's yeah. eight of each, so uh, level one, tier one and tier two. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's two, there's two tiers of monsters. Right. And I think there's eight, eight of each and you randomly draw them. And it's neat to see how they interact with each yes. other. So, um, I think one time we played, we ended up with just like a terrible mix of monsters mm -hmm. that were just like... Ripping up constantly tiles, destroy like your constantly city. Yeah, destroying your city. Um, these, these weren't were too like, bad. Yeah. Okay, these weren't too bad. But um, but still really challenging. Yeah. So I think the replayability is pretty high with uh, the yeah yeah you for know, sure. With a quick plague. I mean, it's like forty five minutes hour long game. Yeah, it's very quick. Um, so obviously each round is going to be two minutes of tile placement, right? So you, right. you you're really going to shave a lot of time there in in the AP because you're you're basically punished if you have AP. You're, yeah. you're not going to do well this game. This is not a planning game. No, it's not. You just have to start throwing tiles yeah. down. Um, so uh, the the longest part of the game is scoring, right? Because you've got to make sure right. you capture everything. And when you can get a little bit of little confused on whether or not you counted stuff. Um, one thing you could do is put tokens down on tiles you've scored, just so you can keep track of what you scored. Right. Yeah. If if you're losing track of, yes. of whether or not you scored a certain tile, so there's ways to to do that. Um, but once you get through that and you get used to you know how the tiles do score, there's only so many different ways to score. There's the the one that scores multiples in any pattern yeah. is one that scores the the vertical patterns right. uh and there's one that scores the shields like that's pretty much it and then you have a couple of other bonus they call them spells that, that actually do right. specific yeah, things like uh that's like the one you had kill a monster that's called that's considered a spell tile right, right? because it does a special act activity or an action yeah. But other than that, uh, it's it's a pretty straightforward game. It plays very quickly. Uh, variability is is significantly high because of the amount of monsters the game comes with. It comes with a ton of them, right. like we said. Um, the the deck for influence rewards is is, is also pretty yes, heavy. That's true. So you've always got f uh, four different influence rewards. The fifth year is always going to be no influence, mm -hmm. but you've always got four different ones. And there are certain ones you cannot play, like this one here: kill two monsters in your district. This is do not use in year one, obviously, because yeah. there are no monsters <laughs> in year one. Um, but outside of that, yeah, it, the variability is very high, just because of just due to the nature of the game. Right. Perfect. So, all right. Um, wait, an audience. Ooh, this is for. Yeah, you know, you would think just because it's it, it has very basic and simple mechanics that um, it would it would be a light game, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it does fit the light mechanic category, but right. I think the scoring, the complexity in the scoring, right, and some of the combination of things and managing the monsters can be a little bit. See, I I'm, challenging. I think it's the time restriction. Yeah is the part that really makes it challenging. Because when I think about like accessibility for mm. different kinds of players, 
explaining the fact that, look, you can line up your colors, make them in a row if it has this shield, or make them in any pattern if it has this shield, yeah. you'll score. It, you know, it's not, you're not like a, it's not like point salady where you're getting a lot of points for a lot of different things like you would like a euro or something. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's still light yeah. and very accessible. Um, but I, I'm, I like the idea, though, that like you could probably open up the accessibility for this if you did your own timer. Like maybe if you wanted to do five minutes around, well, you, if you're playing with... The, I think the, the two minutes on right. normal. Yeah. You could choose easy mode, which right. adds time. It, it yeah. makes the time longer. So yeah, and you could play it as long as you want. You could put no timer on exactly. it if you want. Yeah. Just till you run out of, until you placed everything. Yeah. But that would be a long game. It would be a long game, I think. But if you wanted to open it up to like, if you want to play with like, like I think kids or younger folks, or yeah. maybe people that get a little bit more nervous with like... Mm -hmm. Where do I put my stuff? You know, right? But um, where, I'm, where I'm thinking though, you might lose some people who aren't really that savvy with it, and they get kind of really caught up yeah. in just building their their uh, city. Is in the sense that you've got to, you've really got to manage the influence, right? Because right. if you if you're playing with somebody and they're not going for the influence, they're not right. really paying attention to that because it's just not. They're just worried uh -huh. about other things and they're not as savvy as that. You're going to crush them right. by taking all the influence rewards yeah. from them the entire game. Right. And if you win influence every round, you're going to win. Yeah. That's just the reality right. of it. So if you... Well, yeah, you, I think you won most of the influence. I did. Rounds. And I had a lot of points. Because yeah. you're... Just, especially last year, it's 25 points. Right. Unless you're killing it uh -huh. in your city, yeah. you're, you're going to get crushed by getting all the prestige th through influence. Um, one thing I will say about the time... Um, because I just thought about this, mm -hmm. is that like I think for for people that like to kind of build up the city, and you're like I'm building a city and I'm so proud of it and it's great, it's going to score me a lot of points. Right. That's not like this game is not about building a city one time. Yes. And building the best city. So I I will kind of retract a little bit. I think what I said earlier about making the time a little bit longer mm -hmm. because I think that people that are looking for that kind of game aren't going to find it in in a longer time limit on mm, this game yeah. because you're tearing your city down when you're done. Like that's the point of building it in two minutes. Yeah. Is that like you build it up, you do the best you can, and then you tear it down and you try again. Yep. You know, and that's kind of the fun of it. The fun of, yeah, of course. And, so, and and the challenge is late game is being able to get through your stack of yes, tiles in right. two minutes. Like yeah. how quickly can you get that out there mm -hmm. and maximize the scoring? Right, rate? right. While the so, monsters are, are constantly, you know, messing your yeah. tiles up. So. so I would still say probably like midweight Light, um, really light but, to mid, but huge audience. Yeah, this, this definitely is wise. You could definitely do a lot with this and make it accessible for sure. For, for sure. Um, the theme components. So I, when we first started playing this, I was like, I don't know that I feel like a sorcerer. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm doing cool stuff. Sure. But I don't know if I feel like a sorcerer exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I think um, I did feel like I, I did get the impression more that like the monsters coming out and destroying your city like I almost felt more like a city builder but I guess it's the point you're a sorcerer, you're a sorcerer builder. architect yeah you know? maybe you're and you're building through magic and then maybe right. that's the extent of your abilities yeah I think so you know and and your spells you're 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 achieving through the use of certain tiles right, right? right. but uh, you're not like a like sort of a a sexy uh, <laughs> Like Speak for yourself. Wizard of the First Order, <laughs> like Zedekus Zul Zarender. Yes, okay. Right? Um, or, <laughs> or some people know who Zed is. Or, you know, or Richard Rawl, or or maybe a, you know, from Lord of the Rings, you've got Gandalf. Is that one word? Oh. Right, is that a good I example? Think he's probably the sexiest wizard I know. Okay, so a Gandalf example. Like, he's not out there doing, I wouldn't even consider it, because he doesn't really do the best tricks. He does moths and stuff. He makes big moths and yeah. into eagles. But outside of that, like, you're not doing, like, fireballs and, like, right. lightning strikes. I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, that's, you're saying, like yeah. that's what everybody thinks of when they think of a wizard game. Right, right. But in I this, you're that. just a magical builder. You're just, like, a that's... magical builder in a magical land. This is like this is this is what you. I'm good at, yeah. right? I am a wizard right. who builds cities. Yes. Once a year. Right. And then I tear them down. <laughs> I tear them down. Right. And build them again. Um. That. But that being said, so theme aside, um, the component quality is fantastic. Really nice cardboard. I want to say yeah. I really, I really did like the, um, like the colors. I think are very clear, easy yes. to distinguish, mm -hmm. which is important when you only have a couple of yes. minutes to like lay everything out. Um. So I really did appreciate and I, that. I got to tell you, like watching this from a distance, the mm -hmm. game the components, the look of it's like, eh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But 
when you actually look at these tiles up close, I know. there's yes. lots of little buildings yes. and like a little city going on here. So there is right. there is a lot of detail in it, but you've got to really look closely on the tiles to, to, appreciate, to appreciate it. it. And yeah. it, it becomes this giant city. It's not going to look like a city on your map because right. at the end of the day, you don't have time to appreciate that yeah. in this game. Yeah. You've got to just see... This color matches that color. Right. That's the best I can do. I think that thematically, though, my favorite part of the theme were the monsters. Yes. Because, like, I think the monsters were, like, there's so many of them, mm -hmm. and they all do really cool stuff. There's a gelatinous cube, which yep. I think is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I, that part of it, I really, really felt the theme, and I liked it okay. a lot, I would so. agree with that. Okay, cool. Um, but otherwise, component quality and stuff is really good. Really too. nice. Really yeah, really thick. nice. And good, um, good card quality. Everything in yeah. here is really top-notch. Awesome. Yep. Um... So kind of, I guess, on the wings of that, mm -hmm. did this meet your expectations? You know, I, that's a good question because good question. my my expectations for this, I, I didn't know what to think okay. right, going into this. Right. I knew very little to almost nothing about the mm -hmm. game. And I, I love going into a review without having any like preconceived of, any preconceived notion, yeah. any of the hype, any of like the buildup. And it's like uh, Mr. Funkhauser <laughs> reached out to us and said, hey, you want to check, you want to mm -hmm. review this one? I'm like, sure, I've seen pictures of it, I've read a little bit, but I don't really know much. I know it's a builder tile placement, but that's as far as I, right. it goes. Let's do it, you know, because yeah. I trust in his taste. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he shot it over, and I was very, very happy yeah. with the outcome. I, again, I did not know what to expect when I'm looking at, oh, it's a timed game. I'm not huge into timed games, but if I'm going to play a timed game, right. this is the timed game it, I want yes, to play. Yes, yes. I, I would 100% agree with yeah. that. I would 100% agree. At all, a fan of timed games outside of this, right? Right. This is the only thing that works for me, and right. it works very well for it me. It does, obviously, yeah. because I, I'm I find that I'm very, very good at. You're very good pressure. at pressure. Like when you're pre when you're down to the last minute yeah. on anything, yes. that's when you. Like, this is the story perform. of my life. I yeah. <laughs> I I am good at performing under pressure and getting yeah. things done. You know, under the wire. Right. But you give me months to work on something and i'm terrible yeah. at it because it's just it just right. I, my mind goes all over i need to focus we're such a good team. Stress. yes so <laughs> this is where i excel so this right. is why it kind of it works for me and I, yeah. and I do enjoy it and i will say for somebody who does like to plan it's frustrating but in a really satisfying way mm -hmm. so i wasn't sure if i was when i saw the timer in the box i was like uh, okay let's see how this goes and yeah. like in the first play i think that we did i was like I was frustrated because I felt like I didn't get to do as much as I like wanted to do. Mm. And I think my reaction, the first reaction I had was kind of like, well, I wish I could just keep building the city, building the city, building the city and not worrying about scoring in between uh, and like yeah. all the all the other stuff that you have to do because I like the challenge of putting the puzzle together yeah. in the best way um, and then kind of failing at it and doing it again. But um, But the more we played, I sort of started to enjoy the challenge of it and and still do so it um it exceeded my expectations because i didn't i wasn't sure you know if i was going to really enjoy it or not but this was one that i feel like when we're done playing it i could definitely pick up and play it again yeah yeah definitely yeah. i agree totally agree so yeah definitely if 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 you're into these sort of like time pressure games uh you like tile placement mm -hmm. uh, this is a no-brainer because yeah. it's, it's really it's a really nice package really well done it, it plays extremely fast um and it's enjoyable yeah, yeah for sure yep yeah, so uh, that's all I've got on it. Yeah, nothing else. All right, so we hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.